Yo, 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 what's up, folks? I'm talking about peace and love from up above. It's your boy, Norman, man, and I'm back. And, uh, you know, I know I don't post as much as I need to, you know, and stuff like that. But um, every time I feel it in my spirit to come and say something and, you know, drop the knowledge and the wisdom that I've gained just going through, you know, the walk of life. I love to come and share it. And uh, today's topic that I wanna talk about is how a man should be able to balance his purpose, his relationships, and his friendships. And I'll just share my experience, you know, and through, you know, through my trial and tribulation, you know, my triumph and error. Um, what I've uh, come to understand of what it is to be a man in uh, that saying you got to carry the team on your back you got to carry the world on your shoulders that doesn't just apply for one man that applies for every man you got to carry the team on your back your family your friends you know what I'm saying you got to be able to keep yourself um, resolute and, and, and you got to be able to keep yourself humble and meek and level headed and in control at all times and this is just things that I'm sharing because um I'm not perfect. I've uh you know been inconsistent with things and I've done the wrong things, you know, and I've uh you know took it up here when as a man I should have been here and I had my focus over there when I should have been right here. And even with the videos, man, you know, I've been inconsistent with it and I want to be consistent with it because um you know ultimately I don't know where this will take me, you know, if I just keep being consistent, man. The, the key is consistency and persistent. You gotta be persistent too. So, uh, you know, I do wanna start posting more videos and I, you know, I know I'm just some unknown guy that just comes and, you know, drops knowledge, but who knows where uh, this could take me, man. I keep, you know, God first, who knows where this could take me. But um, I just wanna jump into it. So like I said, the topic is, a man should be able to balance his purpose, his relationships and his friendships. And I say that you should be able to facilitate that because Especially in the States, we tend to lose focus very quickly, very easily. We tend to lose focus. You know, when we're supposed to be looking over here, we're looking over there. When we're supposed to be doing this, we're doing that. And uh, as a man, you got to hold yourself accountable. There's no excuses. You know, hold on, brief, brief pause. Um, I just got out the gym, so that's why I'm sweating, if y'all wondering. But yeah, you know, there's no excuses for why as a man you shouldn't be able to facilitate your life, your world, your reality. Um, you sh listen, and I say this because plan, planning is the key to uh, winning. Um, I watch a lot of uh, Reverend Ike. Um, if y'all don't know who Reverend Ike is, I advise everybody man woman child to watch reverend ike i mean this man was preaching manifestation affirmation you know the power in the tongue of speaking good you know what i'm saying he was preaching this back in like the 50s 60s and they thought he was crazy but it's so prevalent to now and he's just someone who's changed my life um he is now deceased you know rest in peace the, the great uh, reverend ike but he's changed my life you can find his seminars on youtube i advise every person to go watch um, his videos but like Reverend Ike said there's something about a plan you know uh, the biggest downfall is not planning preparation a lot of times we move through our life you know we move through life without a plan and there's no clear plan there's no clear goal there's no clear aim and you can't ex expect to get something done when you don't know what needs to be done and um, I'm, I'm, I'm saying that from my experiences guys like you know what I'm saying? I'm somebody who can be very unorganized in life. And um, I realize that when I am unorganized, it, it, it causes a lot more tension within, you know, my walk of life. It causes more, you know what I'm saying, uh, turmoil. And, um, you know, like, you got to have a plan, man. You got to keep your spaces clean, guys. You got to keep cleanliness around you because cleanliness is next to godliness man a lot of times we've gone through storms in our life and then we go back to our rooms and we see what our rooms look like and then we now we understand why we're going through storms in our life because the storm is at home you can't be comfortable in that peace in a dirty space man 
I don't care what it is. You know what I'm saying? I don't care what it is. Um, but yeah, man, have a, a clear goal and a clear plan. And you should be able to facilitate the things. You should be able to plan around your life, man. You're the you're you, if you're the earth, you know what I'm saying, and the sun facilitates around you, you know what I'm saying, and the sun comes every time at a certain time and it goes down every time at a certain time you should be able to keep control of your day and have plans and then what you notice that people will start to facilitate their plans and their time around you you won't even have to make no changes i mean seriously you won't have to make no changes people will accommodate you man you got to be like a mountain no matter what hits a mountain it's steadfast it stands right where it is and there ain't nothing that can move it so you got to be like a mountain guys and and, and you got to be able to move around and facilitate you know what i'm saying and when you do give time to things you got to give it your all it's got to be 100 percent your time 100 percent your quality time to whatever it is you're giving your time to you cannot half ass it because if you half ass it it won't work you can't be sprinkling over there. You can't be sprinkling over there. You need to season that thing that you're working on. Put it in the oven. Let it bake. Baking being hard work and consistency. And when it is done, you got something good. Man, you know what I'm saying? And so keep in mind, guys, just always keep a hand, man. Make a plan. You know, get a chalkboard. You know what I'm saying? Get a notebook. You know what I'm saying? And I myself, this is something that I'm starting so I'm not saying I'm a guru at it. Like I said, I'm sharing what seems to work. I know successful people do this. You know what I'm saying? Successful people do these things. You know what I'm saying? They, they do what the other percenters don't do, which is, you know, we just think that, oh, well, you know what? I'm just living life. I'm going with the flow. No, there's no going with the flow. You got to go against the tide, man. Ain't no going with the flow. There's no flow in life. You got to find your flow. Don't go with life's flow go with your flow because life go give you what it wants to give you and it may not be what you want so keep that in mind guys like i said man peace and love from up above i just want to come drop you know some brief knowledge on you guys um you know like comment share subscribe like i said i want to be more consistent you know i'm growing in life you know what i'm saying and um yeah man i just want to spread as much positivity as i can man you know um, and love, I want to be a beacon um, of light, you know, to myself and the ones around me. And so, you know, it starts home first. So in order to change your world around you, man, you got to change within you, man. So I'm here to encourage you guys. I know you guys got this, man. I love you guys. You know what I'm saying? It's all peace and love from up above. Like I said, it's your boy Norman, man. And until next time, man, you guys be good, man. And keep fighting a good fight.